today I bought myself the Bear River Schofield BB gun. And that's today what we're going to be examining. So, okay. To give you a little bit of history about the Schofield, the Schofield hadn't been intended kind of as a uh, cavalry gun because of its able top loading design. So, but we'll get to the history part later. Let's get to the fun stuff. Okay. So, I broke this open last night because I could not contain myself. So, but there is your gun. It's probably about two pounds. Probably. Okay. The insert. Schofield insert. And when you open the insert up, you have a warranty card. Kind of like, okay. And then you have your destructions. Or instructions. And a black ops catalog sort of thing. Which thing is putting it very accurately because there really is not like a whole bunch of good stuff in here. But... Okay. Uh, instructions. Very few instructions, but okay. Um, but that's all that's in the folder. Put all that back in here. Okay, to the gun. The gun is a revolver. Uh, it has metallic cartridges. Um, here is the safety on it. It stops the hammer from coming back. So to disengage the safety, all you, all you do is you just pull back. And that allows you to operate the hammer. Um... To open the school field, now it is a top brake weapon. You pull back on the rear sights and it flips open. The shell extractor will lift the cartridges out. And when you open it all the way, the cartridges fall back in the gun. Which is really cool. Uh, the only short sight I see on this is that if you can get the cartridges out which is yeah. okay when you get to all the cartridges out is that you only get six of these little dudes and that is it so if you lose one you're in trouble um, here they are And they're about size of a 44 or 38. In fact, real 38. So you can kind of gauge the size comparison. Um, like I said before, it is a top break. And as I lose one of my bullets. So they're not going to sit there. Um, but yeah, like I said, you only get six of these, so uh, if you lose one, you've lost one. Um, and then what you do is, of course, you just stick a BB in the end and just push down there's one that's not loaded and here's one that's loaded so you can see the BB now one thing I'd like to know is uh, will the Colt Peacemaker take these uh, because I do want to get a 
whole Peacemaker, but I don't know if they take the same thing. So, let me lose that. Okay. So, like I said, you, you just load them, you know, just push down on them. And now, the one thing that was a little on the tricky side was the CO2 cartridge. But I'm going to show you how to do that here in just a second. Um, okay. Uh, the, also, the only one bad thing about this is that it's got all this writing on the side. It's kind of like, if you were going to use this for kind of like a reenactment type thing, you know, where you were, you know, like a Wild West show or that. You know, it's a really nice gun, but the writing kind of might give you away. Um, also, the really nice thing is that when you go to recharge it, that is a screw plate for the recharging. And we're gonna we're gonna take the, open this up real quick and look at it. So there's a little groove here at the bottom of it. And all you do is you put your thumb in there and just pull up. And it it does come up, but there's the CO2 cartridge. Let's see if I can, yeah, okay, there we go. Okay, and there's a little hex key. And what you do, and this is a fresh fresh CO2 cartridge, so I'm not gonna do it. Uh, but you take your, take your hex, put it in the bottom, and then turn it and then what that does is drop the drop the little screw plate okay and then when you, of course when you load it and everything gets punctured then you just close this up and like I said it it loads really well now I'm gonna load it real quick so I don't lose anything Uh, the interesting thing about the Schofield was, is that, like I said, it was actually intended for use for the cavalrymen, so that when they were uh, on horseback, you know, they could just break it open and just load their shells this way, because it loads really quick. It 38, you know, about 30 seconds, and you got a full gun. Or faster. So, then, of course, once you load it, you just close it back up um the only downside is is that the Schofield cartridge is actually smaller or shorter than the regular Colt cartridge and the Colt Peacemaker would um the Colt Peacemaker would take both cartridges but the Schofield took the shorter cartridge and invariably, you know, you'd have one of these outposts that would get all 45 long Colts and have all skull fields. You know, get all 45 Colt, long Colt ammo, but all have skull fields. So their guns weren't worth nothing. So, the army then turned around and said, well, we're just going to standardize. So they went with a 45 Colt revolver. Uh, but it is, it is, this is a really nice gun. Um, it's also gained fame because this is the one that was used in Clint Eastwood's movie Unforgiven. The, the Schofield kid, the, 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 the young kid, this is what he was carrying. Um, but yeah, it's a really nice gun. The only, like I said, the only bad thing is, is it's got this writing on the side. So, but as you can probably tell, this is like my first video. So thanks for watching. And if you, uh, you know, if you knew, if you bought one of the Colts and, you know, know that the shells intermix hey would you write me and let me know so okay well thank you very much and have a great day